All right, y'all, let me spill the beans on what's going down in the Lone Star State. So, Coach is gonna tackle the 2024 season with an expiring contract, and meanwhile, we got ourselves a good old Texas-sized drama brewin in Big D. Now, Michael Parson's brother. Terrence, throws shade on Dak in a tweet, saying, I'm questioning your future, take 40 million or pack your bags. Well, Micah Parsons had to jump in and set the record straight, saying, any comments made by Terrence Parsons Jr. are his and his alone. And to add some more spice to the mix, Dak's brother Tad drops a bomb, saying, if I could get Dak to leave Dallas, I would. I too want him out of Dallas. The city and organization have been great to him and our family, but done with the drama and the so-called fans. But he loves this team and wants to bring it rings. Now, let's talk about the commentators, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp, on an ESPN program about the NFL. They're chatting about this family feud, and Shannon asks if it's something or nothing. And Stephen A., he says, Oh, it's something, and I think it's beautiful. I am having an absolute ball with it, Shannon, I must confess. I mean, this was hilarious to me. Dallas Cowboy fans turning against Dallas Cowboy. This is beautiful. I mean, talk about the disruption. I mean, I want. I have this as a badge of honor, Shannon, that I've caused this kind of disruption. Because they think about the media. They're reacting to the media. They're reacting to the public outlash against the team. You got family members that are frustrated and all. All of this dissension. I love it. I just love it. This is exactly what they deserve. Well, let me tell you all straight up, folks. Micah Parsons is a stand-up dude, a real brother, no doubt about it. I gotta give props to his statement, Molly and Shannon. He ain't no liar, and I appreciate him laying it out there. If he says those comments are all on his brother, I ain't gonna question it. He's saying, I'm a grown man, and my brother ain't speaking for me. You gotta respect that. His brother owes him an apology, though, putting him in that spot to explain it all. Now, Shannon, we've chatted before about family speaking up, like if Sterling had something to say, it's on you to handle. But Moses didn't deny nothing his brother said, just made it clear he's his own man. No need for his brother to talk for him, he'll do the talking. I respect that, plain and simple. And now, Tad Prescott, man, I get they've been through a lot as a family, and I feel for him. Dak's a good brother, but let's keep it real. You don't get to ride on his success. You've been talking big for years, and your brother played like garbage. It's a fact. Doesn't take away from Dak being a damn good player and a damn good quarterback. But when the big moments come, Dak's gotta step up and answer the call. That's on him, no two ways about it. Well, let me tell you, it ain't the fault of them Cowboy fans, and it sure ain't on the Cowboys organization. Nah, it's on Dak Prescott, our man in the hot seat. So, big brother T, he's all complaining about his brother dealing with too much. Well, I'm done with that. Was he done when they were kicking but and talking names, winning them 12 games? Nah. Was he done when they were talking big, chest all puffed up, ready to hit up Vegas? Nope. He wasn't done with all that when he was chasing that money of his, now, was he? So, don't be sitting there whining now, big brother. And let me tell ya, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp had their say on this too. Stephen A. laid it out plain and simple, Dax gotta step up, no excuses. Now, Shannon, he was on fire, callin' out the big brother for whining when things ain't going his way. Ain't that the truth, y'all? So, let's quit the whining, Cowboys Nation, and get back to playin' some real football. Well, Shannon, let me lay it out plain and simple for ya. The Cowboys, man, they're struggling for a reason. You got a bunch of guys out there who can't handle the heat. They can't deal with the pressure of Rep Pin America's team, you know? And let me take you back, Shannon, to before the season kicked off. I was in Vegas for that Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Crawford fight, and a whole crew of Cowboys were in the mix. Now, what did I tell y'all? I said, look, defensively. They got faith in themselves, but when it comes to Dak, they're like, man, he better step it up. He better deliver them where the players talking. I said it right here on first take, clear as day, 
before the season started. They were optimistic, sure, wanted to believe in Dak, but deep down, there was doubt. Now, I ain't dropping names or giving hints, but I'm telling you, it was on both sides of the ball, Shannon. Both sides. There was a big old question mark Hanjin over whether he'd rise to the occasion, and you know what? He did. Now, I'll pass the mic to you, my man. What's your take on all this? Now, the last fella who's got any business whining is his own brother. Respectfully, take a step back, partner. Your bro Dak didn't step up and handle his own business. It's a big ol' mess. And hey, what you forgot to mention is C.D. Lamb's mama throwing something out there too, saying she wants her boy to hit the road cause Dak ain't holding it down. Now, Stephen, what's your sister's name? Carmen. I got four of M, but we're talking about Carmen here. You know, the one you always bring up. Yup, that's the one. So let me lay it out. Carmen jumps on her socials, saying, Man, ESPN ain't treating my brother right, they need to get it together. Now, you tell me, what's folks gonna think? They'll think it's coming straight from the mouth of Stephen A., even though that ain't the truth. Carmen's her own woman, speak in her peace. But anytime a family member, close friend, or loved one says something in public, folks automatically assume it's coming from the person they're talking about. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. I made sure to tell my sister and my mama, be careful, cause folks gonna think you're speaking for Sterling and Shannon Sharp. That's right. Soon as he said what he said, people gonna believe that's straight from the horse's mouth, coming from Dak himself. You gotta watch out for them assumptions, y'all. Now, let me tell y'all about the last fella who should be complaining, it's his own brother, for crying out loud. With all due respect, take a step back, buddy. Your boy Dak didn't step up and handle his business. It's a mighty big something. And when Michael Parsons' brother started John, even if he threw out a statement, what was he expecting? You won't catch me signing off on what my brother said. No siree. That's why you gotta watch your mouth. Shoot, I even rang up the commissioner and asked, can we toss them cowboys back in the playoffs just to see M lose again? So we can pull in big ratings today. That was my wish. Now I'm hoping we can shove M into the Super Bowl, Steven. I wanna see M in the Super Bowl, so when they get their behinds hooped, we can hit those big numbers, bigger than the Super Bowl, like the final episode of MASH with 112 million viewers. Cause that's what'll go down if they make it to the Super Bowl and take a tumble. Now, listen up, y'all, we got ourselves a real Texas-sized situation going on down in Dallas, and it's something else. The players down there, they're stirring up a storm, and there's drama circling round M like a twister cause they're downright disappointed. They're swearing they got the skills to get the job done, and when push comes to shove, some players, now, the defense ain't got no leg to stand on cause they gave it up, Stephen A., yep, they coughed up a whopping 48 points. I don't know what kind of math they're doing, saying he gave my 14 points. Nah, they got a solid 34 dropped on him. 34. So, Stephen A., this is a colossal something, a real big deal. And why? Cause it's Dallas we're talking about, and it's hitting their star players right in the bullseye. We're talking the quarterback, the top dog on defense, and that young gun C.D. Lamb, he's their second best defensive ace. This ain't no small fry, it's a Texas-sized dilemma, and they better rope it in before it gets out of hand. I'm telling ya, it's high time they lasso this mess and get things back on track. And, as my buddy Shannon Sharp would say, it's a big, big something, and they need to get this under control. Amen to that, Shannon, amen. Well, shoot, I ain't even sure if we can call him the second best offensive player after Dax showing. I might have to throw in my two cents and say C.D. Lamb takes the cake as their top offensive guy. I'm dead serious about it, folks. And you know what, Shannon's spot on with his take. Look, when it comes down to it, even the kinfolk are John about M. They're knee-deep in that Dallas Cowboy fandom. And now, you're witnessing the wishy-washy side of it all. No matter how much folks got their teams back, what we're seeing is things unraveling cause it's a sign that trust has hit rock bottom. And let me tell ya, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp ain't holding back on this one. Stephen A. says, I don't even know if we could say he's the second best offensive player after Dak's performance. 
Meanwhile, Shannon's throwing it down with, I might have to say C.D. Lamb is their best defensive player. Well, let me tell you, there's a whole bunch of folks, and I've been saying it loud and clear, they can deny it till the cows come home, but I'm spilling the beans on what I know. I ain't just talking a wild guess here. When it comes to Dak, there were some serious doubts flow out and round before this season kicked off. And let me lay it out for you straight, after the show he put on, mark my words, there's a herd of fellas sportin' them Dallas Cowboy jerseys who've lost their faith in Dak Prescott, no doubt about it. Now, I gotta throw in a bit of that Stephen A. Smith flavor, you know how he does it. Picture him saying, I've been tellin' y'all from the get-go, there's a vibe, a vibe in the air about Dak, and now it's out there for everyone to see. It's undeniable, my friends. And don't forget about old Shannon Sharp bringin' in that wisdom. He'd probably chime in, now, now, Stephen A., you know we gotta call it like it is. Dak's got some folks in his own locker room questioning him, and that ain't a good sign for them cowboys. It's a tough situation, my man. Well, you see, Stephen A., the hitch here is when folks say the cowboys, but they're really honing in on one player in the cowboys roster. If you just go, oh, the cowboys in general, well shoot, that could mean anyone in the mix, Jerry, Mike McCarthy, or even the water boy. It's all fair game. But what they're spitting out is clear as day, and that's where the trouble starts. And, Shannon Sharp, he's nodding along, adding, yep, you hit the nail on the head there, my man. It's like they're playing a little word game, messing with our heads. Gotta be careful with that talk, cause you never know who they're throwing shade at. Cowboys talk, it's a tricky business, ain't it?